Hello and welcome to Board of It. I am Farrell. This is Tally. Hello. And today we're going to be reviewing Calico, the first game that kicked off the Flat Out Games trilogy of drafting tiles or cards <laughs> and putting them into aesthetically pleasing spaces. Uh, so this is for one to four players and why don't you tell us what it's about? So in Calico, you are trying to sew a lovely comfy quilt in order to attract cats. Yes, that's right, attract cats. Sleeping cats, specifically. Yeah. And you're going to be doing this by, like you said, drafting tiles, which have different colours and patterns on them, which represent a patch in your quilt, and arranging them on your quilt in an order that satisfies your scoring conditions. Uh, just before we get into the review, please note that we were very kindly sent this review copy by Asmodee Nordics. You'll begin the game with your quilt player board, two quilt tiles and some objectives already on your board. The quilt tiles have different patterns and colours on them, of which there are six of each. You can score in three different ways. The first one is by completing the objectives on your quilt board. So these require you to put combinations of colours and patterns around them in certain ways. So for example, the one here uh, says AAAA and then BB. So that means you can either or both have four of the same colours or patterns, so A, 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 and then two different ones that represent the B and the B. And there's lots of different combinations of these sorts of objectives. The other way you can score is by placing colours in groups of three, and then you'll get a little button to represent some points. And the final way is by attracting the cats, which is, of course, the best bit. So they want their patterns to be configured in specific ways. For example, maybe having six of the same pattern all next to each other, or three of the same pattern all in a row specifically. The turn to turn gameplay is very simple. You simply take one of your tiles in your supply, place it on your board and then draft one from the central kind of marketplace in the middle and then replace that tile and that's it. The game will end when both players have completed their quilts. Calico is a lovely, deceptively brutal game that has some great design on show and I can see why it's been so popular the last few years. What we found really fascinating is that at the core, you only have two real considerations. The colour of the patch tile and the pattern on the patch tile. Yet this simple which one gives you so much space to explore and agonising decisions to make about where you put it, what type of scoring you go for. And speaking of the scoring, there are a lot of different ways to score and these all drag you in different directions because it's very hard to score all of them at the same time. And you have to make a lot of agonizing decisions about what you're going to sacrifice to score something else. So it's a game full of crunch and meaningful decisions that plays in a really nice time for what it gives back. Calico excels in taking what should be an objectively simple decision, put one of your two tiles into one of 20 less spaces as the game goes on, and be done with your turn. Yet, it becomes devilishly tricky and you'll find yourself taking way too long agonizing over where to put it. And I have a real soft spot for the type of games like Calico, which thread this line perfectly between extremely simple gameplay on the surface. I mean, I could explain this in a minute to someone and mixing it with really interesting and engaging decision-based gameplay. You know, it, you pulled in all these different ways and it's just a really pleasant experience that's someone like or people like me and Tally who lean way more towards heavy level games can enjoy this and get enough out of it and get that much fulfillment as we would an even heavier game because of the crunch it provides while playing in a great little time because sometimes you just don't want to set up a game for 20 minutes and play it for two hours on top of that 
Calico also comes with scenarios to play which shake up the rules and you can also play with rules restrictions to make it more difficult. I mean, I find it difficult enough already, so I don't know why you'd want to do that, but they do actually sound quite interesting. And that means with this small box, you get a lot of great production, you get a lot of replay value, you get a lot of crunch, and it's just a terrific box we can't recommend enough. However, you are of course very reliant on what is coming out of the bag into the marketplace, which is random. It's very easy to start working towards an objective, have the right tiles at the beginning, but then never see the right tiles for the rest of the game because they just don't come out into the central marketplace. So that can be a little bit frustrating and people that don't like that kind of unpredictability and randomness likely won't like that aspect of Calico. Also in Calico, your player board or your quilt is getting smaller and smaller in space every turn, and every time you place a tile, which is opposing to Cascadia, where you can just kind of keep building tiles wherever. You're not so limited on your options. So as you go, you get to the kind of end turns of the game, the last few turns, you might have pretty much no options at all. You've run up space and the right tiles don't come out. You just have to place something. And that can be a little bit demoralizing. It's also important to note that this is a very uninteractive game. You are pretty much sitting there working on your own puzzle. The only obviously point of uh, interaction is if the other player takes the tile that you wanted out of the marketplace, but of course more tiles come out. But yeah, it's kind of a game, sit and have a cup of tea, don't talk to each other, which in our view is pretty great. Something that's important to note is that Calico doesn't exist in a vacuum. So. They've kind of made a little trilogy now of these games, with Calico being first, then Cascadia, and then Verdant, all about having a central marketplace from which you draft stuff, and then you create a tableau in front of you, or a tile placement tableau. And to be honest, in our opinion, it feels like the second game in the series, Cascadia, was a refinement of Calico. Uh, it is different in its own way. Um, they're probably the most two unique most games in the series, but it does just generally feel like things were taken that were a bit rough in Calico and sanded off. Now you have a bigger marketplace, you have tokens that allow you to wipe the marketplace or mix and match tiles, you have more scoring opportunities, you're not constricted within a board, you can kind of free build. So life is a lot easier and smoother there's less frustration, you could say. So it's not that we can 100% from us recommend Calico outright when these other games in the series are probably worth looking at and different people might like different ones to different extents. Because there are definitely reasons why people might like Calico more. There's arguably more variety with the scenarios and the ways to play through. There's more crunch for sure. And maybe that's just what you want. Final thoughts, and unfortunately we don't have cats in this house, only dogs, so it's a bit incongruous. Uh -oh. But what we will say is that Calico's a really enjoyable little tile laying puzzle game. It's quite crunchy for the time and the, <laughs> and the simplicity of how to play. You're going to get a lot out of it, and the scenarios and the different variations on how to play give it a lot of replayability. For me, I think I would always pre prefer Cascadia. I think it's a little more robust, a little more expanded, but it also does lose some of that crunch in expanding itself out. So I can see different people liking different ones. But if it sounds for you, then definitely get it. Yeah, totally agree with the thing you said. I actually maybe prefer this to Cascadia. I don't know, it's a little, yeah, I know, it's a little bit tough. Well, marriage is off. <laughs> <laughs> um, it can be quite brutal though, uh, but maybe I quite like that because in the event that I managed to sort of beat you, I managed to kind of beat you mm. with a fair amount of points because in this game, you know, one tile laying down wrong and you've actually lost quite a lot of points and there's mm. not a lot of way to recover it. So it is surprisingly kind of brutal, yeah. um, but no, I find it really satisfying, really like the way that you have to think about how you score your objectives and the risk reward of you know placing a tile and then you have to kind of stick with that strategy. I, I think it's um, very satisfying and crunchy.
So yeah, I, I like it, recommend it. Awesome. If you enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate it if you could give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you're not already. Please feel free to ask us anything about Calico or any of the other games in this trilogy. We have um, played them all. Maybe yep. you're wondering which one would maybe be best for you. Um, but thanks very much for watching Cascadia. and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.